Hey, hello folks. Well, what is this? A flat road. <laughs> Haven't seen one of these in a long time. We've come down off the mountains and uh, we're heading to another of Colombia's highlights, the Tatakoa Desert. With all its uh, interesting rock formations eroded over time. Quite looking forward to seeing that. And to get there, we've got two days, 100 mile, flat as a pancake, and it's a blessing. Let's see what uh, the Tatsuko Desert has to offer. Cheers, folks. <laughs> well, this is the way to the ferry, apparently. Craziest access to a ferry I've ever seen, eh, Debs? Oh, this is ferry, isn't it? now uh, we've crossed the river stayed last night in Villa Vella and it's hot man it's so hot even at night I think it was 28 and now it came up to 38 it says today but it feels a lot hotter and we're climbing this hill and you can see it's getting more and more desert like Bang, all of a sudden, we come across the uh, eroded tropical rainforest. It's looking good, then, sir. It's looking really good. It's doing me the world of good. Okay, not though. Tatakoa at our hotel for the next two nights and what a place it is look at it it's made out of plastic bottles Casa de Campo Los Cactus the place is called and it looks pretty cool we've just had the most amazing lunch 
and in here we'll show you our quarters for the next two days a couple of lovely beds from mozzie nets all our bags there but the best thing in here you've got a tire a tire sink a normal toilet but a dinosaur shower check this out hey left the red desert behind now we're heading to the grey desert Desertio Gris and uh, you can see it changing let's go and have a look yeah, I tell you it's pretty nice when you get a bit of shade because it is roasting down here absolutely roasting pretty quiet though we're the only people about This is great fun, if slightly warm. It's like walking inside a massive great sculpture. A piece of artwork, just for us kids to play in. And you can imagine what it was like as if you were a child here. But boy, we got up early to miss the heat. I had a shower with my clothes on, but they're dried in about three minutes. It's hot. So obviously the rain must come swirling down these passages. And you can see here, just like at the side of a riverbank, that these roots have caught all the debris as it's gone by. And talking of debris, yesterday, in two hours, I only managed to pick up about three or four tiny little bits of litter. Today, all the count so far is one sweet paper. So that's really refreshing. Not a load of rubbish everywhere. I just love the flowering cactus. They kind of look like a tea cosy with a little red blob on the top. Remind me of Christmas. So, walking through this desert, there's no real signs to follow. So we just follow the footprints in the sand and just hope we don't come across a dead end with thousands of dead or dying hikers desperately wanting our water. I'm wondering why we followed them to our peril. Tom says this is a dead end, but it's a very attractive dead end. It does look like a dead end just keeps on giving so many wonderful shapes my imagination's going mad
that was the Tatsukoa Desert. Pretty beautiful place, quite unusual, well worth a visit. Pretty small, you can do it in a couple of days, but well worth coming to have a look at. Hope you enjoyed the footage. Right, well, next on the agenda, we've got San Augustine Archaeological Park, which I'm quite looking forward to. And uh, Trampolin del Muerte, which I think translates to the trampoline of death, but some people call it the road of death. But uh, quite why it's called the trampoline, I don't know, but I guess we'll find out in the next episode. See you there, folks. Yeah.